Monday morning to you. Welcome back to BT. Uh, we're looking at a pretty all right start to your morning commutes, and that is because we don't have any big problems to tell you about, but we sure do have that volume, that early morning volume. Uh, we're starting off over on the Toronto Bound QEW, heading out of Hamilton, uh, where we do have delays uh, heading towards and over the Burlington Skyway, over to about Fairview. So it is very, very slow right now, and that's again just all due to volume. Uh, we're also looking at slowdowns on the eastbound QEW from east of South Down over to Cawthra, also just due to volume. And then once you get over to the eastbound Gardner, it's a slow drive from about Park Lawn to east of the Humber Bridge. Uh, so not bad by any means, but you do want to give yourself that extra time as you head out the door this morning. So a busy drive heading towards the downtown core. That's a look at your roads. Now over to you, Frankie. Good morning. Hey, good morning. As we can take a look at the satellite combined with the radar this morning, we're waking up to mainly overcast skies. There's just a slight risk of seeing some morning showers. It's about a 30% chance overall. Uh, temperatures, we got 14 Oakville, we got 12 into Brampton, 11 over through Friends in Aurora. Very similar conditions into Oshawa. With the winds today out of the east, it's a little bit of a breezy kind of fall feel outdoors. But tomorrow, we get another feeling of summer. Tomorrow, we'll hit a high of 28, a humid X of 36. Into the afternoon, a line of thunderstorms pushes its way through, produces some wet weather, and then the winds pick up and change in direction and cool us off on Wednesday. Wednesday's going to be wet and windy and a high of 17. So up, down, all around weather-wise for this week. Let's look at your forecast. Our top story this morning, education workers across the province set to begin their work to rule campaign today. Our Tammy Sutherland joining us live now from a Toronto school just hours before the bell rings this morning. So parents and students waking up thinking, how is this going to affect me, Tammy? Yeah, that's right. So we'll tell you what staff will be impacted by this. Clerical staff, custodians, educational assistants, and early childhood educators. That, those are just some of the support staff that will be slowly withdrawing their services starting this morning. And of course, this comes after talks between QP and the province broke down uh, late yesterday. And that, uh, of course, these were last minute talks over the weekend trying to avoid this work to rule strike. So what this means for students, what won't be done around school starting this morning. Education assistants will not allow classes to proceed without a teacher present. Clerical staff will not be supervising children at all. Custodians will not pick up garbage outside. They also will not be sweeping up hallways, offices, or gymnasiums. So those are just some of the, uh, the services that will be starting to be withdrawn beginning this morning. Now, I want to let you know as well, we did reach out to the education minister, Stephen Lecce, to uh, appear on breakfast television this morning for an interview about this work to rule campaign that is starting. Uh, his office declined, saying that he was not available. But coming up uh, a little bit later this morning at around 7.30, we will be speaking to the spokesperson for the union just about some of the sticking points and what really caused the talks to break down last night. We'll also be talking to parents, of course, uh, to discuss some of their worries and their take on this work to rule. Mel, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Tammy, thank you so much for that. To Washington now, as the Democrats continue their push for impeachment, President Donald Trump is demanding to meet his accuser face to face. Trump has been accused of pressuring Ukraine to intervene in the 2020 election and in a series of rage-filled tweets is hoping to confront his accuser to defend his honor. What's going on now is the single greatest scam in the history of American politics. It's all very simple. They're trying to stop me because I'm fighting for you. We cannot have a president of the United States undermining his oath of office, undermining our national security, and undermining the integrity of our elections. Meanwhile, the lawyers representing the whistleblower are warning that the president's threats uh, pose a grave risk to their clients' personal safety. Russian President Vladimir Putin joining other world leaders in Paris today for the funeral of former French President Jacques Chirac, who died last week at the age of 86. Thousands paying their respects to the man who twice served as the country's president and once as its prime minister. Today has been declared a national day of mourning in France. He is being remembered as an outspoken critic of the American decision to invade Iraq in 2003, but his image tarnished for his role in a corruption scandal for which he was given a suspended sentence. We're sitting at 6.30.